want you to turn in your Bibles, Matthew 18. Matthew 18, and we're going to start with verse 19. Amen? Amen. 18, 19, if you have it in, you feel like standing, amen. Amen. And don't be tired. Good to see you, First Lady Doc. Amen. 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 I'm always glad to have you in our house and our midst. Amen. And the word of the Lord reads, starting at verse 19, Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth uh -huh. as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Amen. So ends the reading of the word of the Lord. You may be seated. Preach, preacher. Amen. Amen. If I could use for a text this morning, my text would be, he's in the midst. Amen. Amen. I want to salute the BBC church on her 76th birthday. Amen. Salute the church and the place that has made a difference in my life. Um, I joined this church some 36 years ago at the age of 14 and never realized that I'd be able to say 36 years ago, but God thank you. Amen. Um, this place has a lot of memories for me. And I thank God that the memories have been more good than bad. And I, and I know that the best thing that could have ever happened to me at BBC over 36 years ago is that I found Jesus in this place. I found Jesus right here at 580 South Trust. And I don't care what y'all say about Beulah, but I found Jesus here. And I don't care how, how much they talk about her, amen. But I found Beulah. I found God in this place. Amen. And I thank God that some 36 years later, he's still in the place. And you ought to be thankful for that because I go to some churches and I don't feel God up in the place. Amen. And I know that God is in the midst of this place. Amen. Uh, I, I used to hear women say that a good man is hard to find. And this was a while back, so, so women started going to church yeah, so that they could find a man. And, 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 and some of them did find a man. Some still do. Yes. But after they found what they found, some of them would throw it back. That's right. And that's because they were coming for the wrong reason. And I want you to know that a good man is not hard to find at the BBC church if you came looking for Jesus. There you if you go. came looking for Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus is in this place. Church is supposed to be all about Jesus. And one thing I know, if the church continues to present, to teach, to preach, and most of all, live That's it. Then folks who should come to the house, they'll be able to find a good man in the house. Because he is the greatest man I know. Amen. Some of you, I don't know if you're looking for a sugar daddy. Amen. But the word says that he is sweet, I know. Amen. He's sweeter than a honey honey. Amen. If you're looking for a baby daddy, amen. He is the father to the father. He's a mother for the mother. I know that Jesus is the best man that I ever know. He's the greatest man that I know in my life. And I praise God today that he's in the midst of us right now. Amen. As we continue to journey this year as a local body of Christ, amen, as we celebrate 76 years, I never knew that I'd be at a place where I'd be able to preach on church anniversary day. And that's something God is good. But you know what? God gives us an assignment, amen, and you want to honor the Say assignment. That. Amen. It didn't matter when my pastor called me, all I knew was that I had to be ready. Yes. Amen. amen. Uh, the, the, when we talk about the local body of Christ, the ecclesia, the called out ones, right. My thoughts are constantly, I don't know, Sister Rose, that at this age, the older you get, amen, you ain't got time for no foolishness. Yeah. Amen. My mind keeps constantly turning and asking and reminding and refocusing myself of why we gather together in this place. We used to use as a motto the church you should know about, Holy Ghost Headquarters. Amen. And I thought about week after week, month after month. Year after year, program after program, meeting after meeting, 
And in all of that, I ask myself, are we working towards right. our perfected purpose?